Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can recover files from your computer or external devices such as flash drive, USB drive, even an external hard drive, um, memory cards from your uh, phones, digital cameras, and this one software can do all of that and it doesn't matter if they're images, if they're videos, documents, regardless of what they are, uh, depending on how long it's been since those files have been deleted, there is a very good chance of having those files recovered. And so the tool that I'm going to show you today is by far not the only tool available that you can use to recover your deleted files with, but from the research that I've done, it is um, it exceeds the other ones that I have tried and it's only a fraction of the cost. And so that's why I want to show you what it is and how it works. Now if you want to download a free trial of it, you can go to revivemyfiles.com. That link is listed under this video in the description box. If you just click on that link, it'll take you straight here where you can click on the screen button and download it. And it'll what it'll do is allow you to scan whatever type of device you have, whether it's your computer, um, if it's an external hard drive, flash drive, SD card, um, USB, it doesn't matter what it is, if it holds like some kind of a memory to it, it'll be able to scan it and let you know the files that it can recover from it before you buy it. And so if you want to download that, that's revivemyfiles.com. And if you want to follow along with me as you download it, just pause this video, download it real quick, and then you can jump back over here. Now I did record this video in HD, so if you want to use full screen for it, uh, you can do that as well to get a better view. And so here we are on the main screen of the Data Recovery Pro software, and it gives you multiple options. And the first one here you're going to see is, is, is your basic scan tab. And this quick scan option here, um, it just lets you really quickly scan over your computer. And if there's a certain file you're looking for, you can type it here and it'll try to find that specific file. Next is a full scan, and the full scan obviously will search any type of device also connected to your computer instead of just a hard drive on your computer. This includes external hard drives as well as memory cards from digital cameras and other sources. And then if, if you're completely new to this and if you just want a walkthrough guide, you can do the guided scan and the guided scan basically walks you through step by step of recovering files um, from any type of device or even your email. And next we're going to see the advanced tab and the advanced tab is usually what I jump over to because it seems to be the quickest way for me to access any kind of files that I need to recover and you'll see here are listed all of the devices and removable uh, media that I have on my computer and basically what I would do is just select the one that I want to um, search for for uh, deleted files, photos, videos, music, documents, or whatever it is. And I normally always leave these checked as well. That just means that it's going to also check those um, your recycle bin. Um, if the files don't have any names or if your uh, hard drive has corrupt sectors or even after you've reformatted your hard drive, uh, it'll still check those for deleted files. And then simply by clicking start scan, it's going to scan that and it's going to show you the files that it can recover from it. Now if you're looking to recover email, you simply choose the email tab and you're going to scan for your default email application or um, you can also scan for an email profile and, and your, even your PST files from Outlook which you can restore from those as well. And so for this demonstration I'm going to go back to scan and we're going to walk through and we'll do a guided scan. So we'll click uh, start scan and as you're going to see here, it's going to bring up a new window and it says, I want to recover items from my hard drive. And you're going to use this option to recover files from your computer's hard drive. In some cases, you can recover files even after the drive has been reformatted. And so you're going to select either uh, recover items from a reformatted drive or recover items from an existing drive. And you would simply select which uh, drive on your computer or external drive you want to scan. Now, if you have emails, you would choose this option and you can also put specific text in here that you want it to search if there's a certain email or file you're looking for or if you want to recover items on an external device um, connected to your computer such as an iPod or digital camera you would select this one and then it would show you um, your device right here that you have hooked up to your computer and you would simply select it and then click start scan and it would scan that device now sometimes memory cards do malfunction um, or they just 
I guess you would just call them die. And whenever they die, there's a chance they won't even show up here. It just means your memory card's totally corrupt. Uh, and basically, um, you'd probably have to find some kind of a professional service, which is really going to cost you a lot of money to recover those types of files. But under normal circumstances, um, if, you're, if your card is not um, uh, really badly corrupt or corrupted or if it didn't totally die on you, it's going to show up here and you're just going to be able to select it and then start to scan. So um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to select, um, I want to go to the advanced tab and for this example I'll just select my book which is one of my external hard drives here and I'll select start scan. And what it's going to do, my external hard drive it is a um, massive like two terabyte drive so obviously if I was to scan the whole thing it would take a very long time for it to go through and find all these files now if you have a flash drive or some kind of an external memory card from another device um, it's going to be a little bit different and it's not going to take near as long and so here what's going to happen is as it's searching through all of your data it's going to show you exactly what it found in these items and so for here you're going to see that it hasn't found really anything that's been deleted because with this hard drive I really don't delete anything but instead I, this is where I just save all my stuff that I need so what I want to do I want to change this real quick and I'm actually going to put in a flash drive that I have deleted some a lot of uh, files from and I'll show you the difference let me pause this video okay so I've added my new drive to the computer let me cancel the scan and we'll go back to advanced and refresh and you'll see now it has the Patriot drive listed here and that is my flash drive and let's do a scan of it and yes this is just asking me if I want to delete the current scan results from my previous scan so I'll choose yes okay now you can see here the number of items found and how it is very very quickly going up and this is because like I said this is a USB drive where I constantly delete files folders and I add new stuff back to it and so it's going through here and it's finding all these files that has been previously deleted and it's also organizing them into specific folders and you can see here it has images documents text files compressed files presentations other files and there's a lot of this list that goes on and on and on depending on what kind of files you have it'll automatically organize them and so by simply clicking these links it's going to show you um, the types of files that they are and then if you click on those it's going to show you what those files are that way you know what they are before you even have to recover them or even if you can recover them and so like I said this tool is just absolutely great for recovering files from any kind of media device whether it's videos audios um, you know documents uh, I do a lot of web designing and um, it's great for deleting those kinds or uh, finding those kinds of files if I accidentally delete them and you can see the number just keeps going up and up and up and so it's found close to 2,000 files already um, that's been deleted on here that, that's recoverable and so basically once you're done you're going to get down here and at the bottom it's going to ask you where you want to save these recovered uh, files from and you can select the location here so if there's an external drive that you want to recover all these files to or if you just want to put them back on your desktop you can create a folder there and then you're going to click recover and it's going to recover all those files and put them in that specific folder for you now if you haven't purchased the software yet when you click recover it's obviously going to tell you that you need to register the software and from there you can go to the website and purchase it and I believe it's like thirty nine dollars the last time I bought it they was giving off I think it was a, a 10 to 20 dollar instant coupon and so I got it for I think 29 or I think it was 39 dollars is what I bought it for and so like I said there's a lot of other programs out there that does what what this one does too but uh, for the price and for the quality of the software I haven't found anything to beat um, this data recovery pro software and so I hope this review of this software helps you and I hope you're able to recover your files regardless of what they are and um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them underneath the video thanks